Welcome to a small playthrough of Invaders from Planet Space, a small piece I put together recently. Uh, I had some people were curious what the hell this was, and I didn't have any media to go along with it, so it looked pretty awkward. So, yeah. Uh, now, we're going to be playing this on Brendan Fraser mode with Elite mode turned on. The main menu is incredibly basic. It looks like this by default with Standard List and Elite mode off. Basically, Elite mode, t when toggled on, forces 50 waves, like the Elite maps have 50 waves collateral on the Hydra, uh, on any map you play, so you can play old maps on harder uh, difficulties and longer lengths. Now, we also have various other lists of enemies you can fight. Uh, they have different specializations and different difficulties in many cases. There is, in fact, random, in case you really want to be guessing, uh, for the true veterans to be able to actually learn what their list is after a few waves. Uh, there's Sandbox, so you have 8,000 starting gold and can just build whatever the hell you want and see how things work and learn about the game. We have uh, the Big Beautiful List, or the BBL. We have Ground Only, which is Ground Only, in case you really hate air units, but really want to hate yourself, too. Because uh, Ground Only is very hard. Spoiler alert. It may not be beatable. Uh, I have yet to test. Um, air Supremacy, which focuses on more airwaves, but not exclusively airwaves. And Brendan Fraser. As the meme says, just fuck me up. Brendan Fraser is not meant to be beat by mortal men. But we're going to try anyways. I'm the developer. If I could do it, hopefully some other people can do it. And if I can't do it, hopefully someone still can anyways. Now, uh, last time I did straight shooting, and I finished with one, count them, one HP out of a 20 HP bar left. Uh, and that was an absolute nail biter on wave 50. So I'm going to go hit up uh, Purgatory this round to keep it interesting for myself, and because I just hate myself apparently. And we're going to start with the MG turret. It's the bread and butter of everything you're going to want to do. And Pro, ta uh, pro Tactic upgraded twice. Uh, I would love to upgrade it three times, but the world isn't all sunshine and rainbows. And we're also going to install in a twin cannon turret for its armor piercing and two projectile properties to make it handy against peckies and uh, high armor enemies. And a mortar turret for AoE against peckies in particular. Because dodge chance enemies are goddamn menaces. Alright, and uh, we should have some goons for wave one, and it's gonna start off nice and casual, and we can push space to advance the next wave, and one through zero to pick various items the way down. And you can also select a item with uh, the mouse and push Q to upgrade or E to sell. This is uh, all hotkey friendly, so you can, you know, do things in a reasonable amount of time. Especially when time is of the essence till the next wave shows up. You notice that uh, my men don't aim perfectly. And by men, of course, I mean turrets. Lots of shots being failed to be led properly. Um, all in all, we're just in for a good one. Now we're going to want to add some force multipliers later, but for now, this should do. Oh god, big peckies. Oh god. Just end me now. These things are berserkers, and they have 50% dodge chance, just like normal peckies. Alright, AoE came through. Woo. The dodge chance is sometimes just pure RNG whether or not you'll kill it or not, if you don't have AoE in the picture. Some Davids, very simple little tortoise guys. Uh, they have some uh, healing waves that they drop on each other, so they are deadly in large numbers. However, trust me, those aren't the problem with Davids. And yeah, we should keep the lead flying down. If I'm a smart guy, I'll do a uh, sniper turret early game. Especially since I don't have an AUG slot in my AP gun like I did on the last map, which was a huge help. Just gonna spray everything down nice and vigorously. In fact, we're gonna install a wall. Mm, no, we're gonna hold out. We're gonna have to hold out. And we have dusters coming next. Oh god, dusters. Oh no, I hate those things. They are a fucking menace. I'm not gonna lie, but I want to put a frost turret here and a uh, ice gun here. Oh, this is, sorry, an ice gun here and a wall here. And that is, of course, assuming you can even freaking see my crosshair, which is a generous estimation. Now we're going to install an AA turret here, and we're going to upgrade it another round, so hopefully it can at least hit the damn things. Actually, MG is just mowing these fuckers down. Thank God. I said my dusters, they flew right past everything. They started fast, and they only get faster. Jesus Christ, God save us all. Uh, some slenders also move faster when they're hit as they are berserkers. Many little properties we have like that in the game uh, because it's a challenge, diversity. Challenge your tactics, not just your uh, sheer statistical density. 
And this is the best use of a starting budget I have done in a long, long time. Bulwark's coming next round, though. They should be fun. They build up armor over time, and our MG is very far placed in. I think we can still mow them down, though. Well, it tries not easily. Oh, and by the way, you can also select enemies, and if your guns can aim at them, as in they are within range, it will attempt to. God damn it, they just barely got by. Ooh! I'm to hate myself. Oh, totally worth it. Pay it for itself. I got another two bulwarks coming by. Jesus. Come on. Just need a couple kills. Oh, come on. Need sniper turrets in here yesterday. Now we're just absolutely getting stomped at this point. Aim, mortar. Aim. Jesus. Where are your eyes, ref? Oh, Christ. Yeah. This is how we die. Peck bombers. Wow. We are absolutely 1 million percent not ready for these things. Uh, the sniper turret was kind of my plan against us. And we are way behind on firepower and only falling further behind. Boom. Sniper turret. All right. Whew. Oh, it's really hard and Petra to multiple targets. Unfortunately, this big pack of bombers seems to be dodging literally everything I'm using to shoot at it. We upgrade our AP gun and our twin cannon even more. We cannot afford much more in the way of mistakes. This is getting interesting already. In fact, I'm probably screwed just based on the sheer amount of lead I've lost. Even though sniper turrets are pretty goddamn meta if I say so myself. I'll hold my ground. I think we'll be all right, but it's going to be a tight one. Sniper turrets penetrating power and high damage are exceptional. And if you use uh, the ability to direct it where it's shooting, that can be even more handy than that. Jesus. Oh, God, I got tanked. Yeah, actually, oh, also the sniper gun is armor penetrating that I mentioned right here right now. And I'm just playing this game because I'm waiting for Overwatch to install. Yay. Oof, nice. And, yeah. Sniper turrets are, if you can get down the rhythm just right, and some of your other men will kill everything off first, they are extremely handy. Oh, God. Right, we have Grace Foles this round. I'm going to install that ice gun now, along with that wall, as a uh, force multiplier of sorts, as I use the term. And that forces my enemies to a choke point. Luckily, the sniper turrets also handy against Grace Foles and their sub-enemy dropping, because uh, they just rip through the entire crowd that they drop. I don't know what could possibly be better than that. Nothing. That's freaking what. Modan, one or two tankers, you can probably afford to upgrade the AP gun again. And its range might be extended next level enough to be able to hit these damn things. No. No, it's not. But we'll be able to hit things when the ice gun's beginning grasp. And that's going to be extremely handy. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. And the ice gun's pretty cheap to upgrade, but kind of expensive to get your hands on. But it really shines is when you upgrade to the cryo node. The cryo node has fantastic crowd control ability. Although very limited range. It's not really good for sniping things, but it is good for getting up close and personal and making enemies you turn around them. Which is exactly what I've placed mine to do. There we go, just make sure we get, kill everything. Nailed them. Nice work, Sniper Turret. Also, pro tip, ice affects anything held inside of a group wad based enemy. So, if you ice the mother and then they split that fucker, you ice everything held within. And that is a... Pro tip of the year edition, I'm just going to call that, because that is some extremely handy knowledge. And yeah, we kind of got to get a better mortar turret, because it is our long-range firepower at this point. And I am definitely going to install another AP gun here, maybe a machine gun, I don't know. Kind of deliberating that. Very nice. And I would love to get a Grohl Snell, but that's not going to happen for quite some time. Oh, yeah. All right, we're getting that second machine gun, I think. We got mega tankers. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm probably just going to need some carry-ons. Whew. Just dodged every bullet. Son of a bitch. Son of a goddamn bitch. That's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful work. I love my tactics. Right. So, we're going to get that carry-on we were talking about. We just need it. Period. It's going to corrode the armor off of enemies slowly but surely, and that is something we are going to need painfully hard here. In fact, we're probably even going to make the upgrade to Ashichow pretty early game. 
Oh god, we have Goliaths coming next round already? Jeez, oh, we're already wave 28, baby. Meta tactics. Alright, and I think Slenders are armor piercing resistant. Yeah, I got a minigun, alright. Get that acid shower, then we're really in business. I'm gonna probably have to install second AP gun first, because we're gonna need the shooter just show stomping firepower of this bastard. There we go, rip through all the Davids at once. These Goliaths are just an absolute bastard to deal with, my god. Oof, we're getting some serious lag here. I think we're hitting about 4 gigabytes file size finally. God, look at this. Goddamn. Oh, these are blockers? Oh, gosh, yeah. Wait, no, these are... Oh, God. These are high-level choppers. Ooh, nice right team. Holy shit, we need more AA, though. That was a close one. <clears throat> Last time I had better single-target AP damage because I was using a demolisher. Which are, by the way, incredibly meta, just so you know. Yeah, we're gonna have to create a bit of a choke point here. There we go. It's gonna jerk the enemies off for all eternity, which is kind of what we want. It's the slow tugging. Yes, yeah, this tank is just getting nailed. Carry on doing this job beautifully, luckily. Oof. So good. Right, we are two upgrades out, being able to get our hands on a better ice gun. More, more specifically, a second cryo node because those are the shit. Between the first two cryo nodes, we have uh, it should create a nice little sandwiching for lots of time for the carry on to just douse everything, especially once it's upgraded itself. Oh, Jesus, look at all this. Oh, we got a lot of bad business coming away. Luckily, the minigun has enough rate of fire to just mow them all down. Let's mow, mow those fuckers back down. Oh, Jesus Christ, we need more firepower than that. Actually, no, we're good. That minigun pulled through like a champ. Or just douse them in acid. Yes, what could possibly go wrong? Not the goddamn thing. That's what... And now we're just going to upgrade the crap out of these mortars and just get a whole bunch of them raining fire down upon the masses. So one more mortar turret I'm going to call this good. If you get a lot of CC, you can just kill everything. As long as you don't need AP, that is. Heck bombers. Oh, right. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is why you need more CC, though. Probably should have just gotten that uh, upgraded mortar turret. Which I'm probably actually going to make a gross null, uh, just spoiler alert, because the gross null has insane range and massive AoE, but very low rate of fire. Beautiful. Just hose them all down, make sure I don't have any armor left on them. Mmm. Gotta love it. Right, those jets didn't even get close. Probably have to send how many way more AA come to think of it. We down to it wave fifty, we're absolutely just gonna get bogged. It's gonna be a goddamn mess. Luckily this map has a uh, complex air, so they actually have to go up stairwell still and then just fly through everything. Because you know, otherwise they just fly right through the map. Not all maps have that advantage though, so that's uh, certainly something to be grateful for. It is a privilege and not a right. Jesus, look at all these graces. This is why we got more AA. Christ. We're still going to need more AA. Come on. Actually, I think we're going to pull through. Not by leaps and bounds, but we're going to pull through. All right. Whew. Like blockers. Jesus, these monsters. Of course, it can be said anything. It could be a monster, but you get my point. And I'm going to have some more Goliaths coming a couple ways. Jesus. Somebody just kill me now. Oof. Very nice. Ripped right through both of them. Sniper turrets is just so good. Big peckies. All right, these bastards. Christ almighty. Let's see why we have so much goddamn slow and mortar in a moment. It's like every two and a half of them are going to get right straight through this place. Dodge chance is nothing to mess with. I 
against the Raging Bull. These bastards. Oh, man. Corrosive resistant. Gotta love it. Mama Peck's coming next wave. Oh, jeez. There's such a thing as having an FCC for that. Christ, Mama Pex. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna set up uh, one right here so we can clean things up in advance. Oof. <clears throat> Come on, sniper turret, get him. Yeah, one more round. Crush that. Oh, dodged. Come on, die. You wanna die? Oh, come on. Here comes the choir, baby. Alright. Christ, it seems we just take hits for years. Okay, we're in trouble. Look, we've got enough AP to maul these goddamn Goliaths down. Oh, wait, no. Here comes the acid. Hallelujah. Praise be to the acid. Cedar of all. Nowhere of much more. <laughs> Holy shit, we're just having a good one. Look at this chaos. This is Brendan Fraser in a nutshell. If you had to show people 10 seconds to know what Brendan Fraser is, it's this bullshit right here. Come on, Daddy needs more AOE. This mini is just absolutely serving up ass kicking for lunch. And boy, did it bring a big platter. Eighty, eighty. Come on, give me a minigun. Daddy needs a minigun. Oh, Mama Grace is coming. Oh shit, this is a big one. This is a big push. I don't think we have enough AA. Time to find out. <clears throat> Actually, I think these dudes are just gonna end me alone. Oh, these goddamn pecs. Oh, we still have mega tankers mixed in too. Oh, sweet Jesus. God save us all. Oh, cluster bomb save me. Oh, yes. Are we gonna survive? I think we will. Oh, folks, all fire team. Shit. No. Daddy, why? Shit, I think we barely spotted the one HP yet again. Holy shit, he does it twice, ladies and gentlemen. And that was Brendan Fraser on basically the non-tutorial map, the easiest map. Although I did turn on Elite Mode. Anyways, hope you enjoyed, and that's kind of a brief rundown of, um... What is this? IFPS? Invaders from Planet Space, that's what it's called. Man's only been there a day, so I'll, I'll remember it in good time. Anyways, until next time, WCCC, signing out.